and it literally is going to take you step by step by step to walk through it. Um, the headline, I'm going to put new listing in New Hanover. Headline two, right here, if you see it goes right underneath the headline one, I'm going to put in the address. The listing price, we're going to just add in all the information, I'm just going to put property address. The MLS number, I'm just going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Property type, single family home. Number of bedrooms, four. Number of baths, three. Area of the neighborhood, Hanover Hunt. And I'm just following right along, I'm just answering the questions. Um, 0.5 acres for the lot size. You're built 2002. And I'm just going to do a little quick blurb. Actually, you know what? I'm not quite sure what I want to write in my blurbs. This is a really cool feature that I just found out about last week at our training, which is really neat. If you look along here, there's these little buttons on the side. And I know a lot of people come to me all the time and say, I don't know how to write information about my listing. I'm just not sure what words to use. This is a beautiful, magical button, and it's on all the pages. You click on this. It's going to give you generic phrases. And there's all different things. Here's one. As seasons change, the weather will be getting warmer, and what you'll need is this reason, blah, blah, blah. It gives you all lead-ins. Carefree and relaxing lifestyle can be yours, nestled in a planned community. Charming, comfortable, and cozy. I mean, they're all pre-written. And this is like, I would almost do this first and then put the listing in trend because they're doing some of the work for you. So I just click on that. Charming, comfortable, and cozy, corner lot, entry for living room with fire, fireplace, French doors leading to a covered porch and flagstone. Um, I'm just gonna put an wood deck. There's a two car garage, four spacious bedrooms, large study, I'm changing some of the verbiage, gray bass and central air. Now I'm gonna hit save. And it just put all that stuff into the remarks on the property flyer. So when you're, it's late at night and you're like, I just can't think tonight, and it happens to all of us, um, even us creative types, go in here and it'll give you tons of ideas on how to write your front listing flyer. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so that's all written up. Uh, and we want to keep in each office independently owned and operated, so we click done. Okay, I'm teaching a class, and it's been about 15 minutes I've been doing this, but that flyer is done. Completely done. 15 minutes, and wait till I show you how cool all this stuff is. You can preview the flyer. Um, what I want to do is just download it, because I want to save it to my computer so I can save it in my file. So what I'm going to do is hit download. And then I just want to do a standard print, because I'm going to print it just to my office computer. So I'll click standard print. Now there are some minor directions you just need to remember about this. Here's the download of the address. I need to right click and save link as. And there's directions right up here in case you forget to do that, but it's save link as. And then you can save that wherever you'd like to save it. And click save. And then once it's done saving, I'm just going to open that up. And here is our property flyer done. Done. It has all information, our photo, the house, pictures, everything that we entered is in there. And we can just print it out, save it, and print it out. How many people think they can't do that? <laughs> Throw your hand down. <laughs> Come on, Gina. <laughs> you know I need help. Uh, even you could do this. I'm telling you, it's so easy. I, I will. And that's the iPad. Okay. Gina? Excuse me. Can yes. you go back to when you downloaded it after you sure. completed and saved it? I'm going to go, actually there's a couple things I can do, so I'm going to go back to this screen as well. Just so you know, we're in here. You can preview it. If you realize, you know what, there's something else I want to put in there, you can hit the edit button. 
if this flyer, say like you listed another house in the same neighborhood and you just need to change a couple of minor tweak things, you can hit duplicate, it'll give you the same one, you can go in there and edit it just to change the address and a couple of minor things in there. Um, you don't want to delete it. I would save them. They're all going to save inside here. You can email it. Um, you can actually have it have its own website by hosting it, uh, download it, and then print. Now there are other options in here too, just so you know there's print options. Uh, and the easiest way, I think, is just to download it and print it because we have a color printer here. But if you wanted to get really um, fancy quality prints, you can go order through one of these companies. Like if you want a really heavy card stock or something really shiny, you can order it through these companies. And there's pricing all right on there for you. And it ranges from like 50 cents to a dollar. But if you have a really, you know, like a million dollar listing and you want to put really nice card stock to it, come on. They'll take that flyer. Upload your design, delivery, customize. for pricing. I'll kind of tell you what everything costs to order. And, you know, it's so like you went to a listing and it was really far away up in Lancaster and you just didn't have time to get there. Um, just as, as an example, you can have them mail directly to, they'll print them and mail them directly to the listing. I know um, Tom and Trish used to do that a lot when they had a lot of listings going on. They just had so much stuff coming in that they would have some of the things mailed directly to the house because it was easier that way than having to get them and drop them off and drive all around the world. So there is that option. Okay, there. so just so you know, now I have that open house file and that flyer is forever going to stay inside there. So we can keep going back to it and we'll pull up to the screen. And how we'll, we'll do that, we'll go, and go to our portfolio. And then we would go into My Projects and Open Houses. When we click on that, that listing will stay inside there. Let's go to the Design Gallery. And now I'm going to do the listing presentation. We'll go through that one real quick. OK. Market my listings. Or we're going to go into actually market my business. Market my sphere. Where is it? <coughs> Market to sellers, here we go. Okay, so there's a pre-listing presentation and a listing presentation. So I'm gonna go into pre-listing presentation. And there's only one in there right now. I'm sure there's gonna be more. But I'm gonna select it. And this works exactly like the property flyers. You can take this and move it over a little more. Actually, I think I've gone as far as I can go on there. Okay, so with the project name, I'm gonna put pre-listing presentation for Mr. Smith. Okay, I'm going to pick where I want to put it. I'm going to put it underneath. I already have a folder, so I'm going to put it under listing presentation. And then we'll click next. Okay, very similar things. The phone numbers are already in here. Website since you're a secondary agent, we need to add that and skip right over this page because everything is pretty much entered in there already for you. Photo, that's all set. Okay, enter client name. I'm going to put Mr. and Mrs. Smith. just be careful of this. I kind of got caught in this last night. It says date up here with two dots and I'm like, oh, the date goes here. So I put the date in and then down here it says enter date and I put it in twice. Um, the date is that what says highlight one, it does just say the date. So enter date would go inside here of today's date. And then it says to and from. I'm going to leave them as they are. The agent name. Enter green 
Jane. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. This is a, does have a letter in it. Okay, now here's the highlight number seven. This is actually the letter, and it is like a Word document where you can go and you can change things, make it a little more customized, but it does have the whole letter typed out for you. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Change the name, I'm putting back in here. And then next. And it really does talk you through and the cool thing about this as well is once you set this up once, the pre-listing listing presentation, it's all the information is in there, so you could probably just go back in, uh, customize it how you want it, go back in and just change the people's names who you're sending the listing presentation to, the pre-listing packet to. Now, there's already, if you can look, this is how it's going to look when it's finished, but they already have these logos inside here for you, but if you are, um, like for instance, I think Bobby has a lot of more customized stuff for his team. You can go in there and change these things out, and it tells you how many pixels down the bottom, how long and narrow it needs to be. Um, if you have something you can't fit it in these proportions and you're having trouble, just find me and I will show you how to do that. It's not real hard. And if you have Word on your computer, I can talk you through it. But if you have anything customized you want to put in, um, here I'm just going to upload a different image just to show you how we can switch this out. I'm going to pick that picture that we used before and upload it. And then same thing, whatever you get inside that dimension. So like I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. It'll keep it in, in proportion. And then crop. Okay, and this banner right down here is actually what flies across right through there. And prepared for is the, the rubber chicken goes in and complements of. You can leave them in there because it's going to pull the names um, that you put in the other page. So I think the rule of thumb, if you see something that has like two little marks on it, just leave it alone because it's going somewhere unless you want to change what it says. For instance, uh, if, you don't, if you don't want to say compliments of and you want to say um, prepared by your agent, and then Actually, I don't have that much room. I'll just put prepared by agent. And then it'll automatically put the name in afterwards because it's going to pull from the other page. Good for some video tricky, but. Okay, same thing here. If you want to change out the photos, you could. It's about you, it's just it like the, the listing flyer. Seventeen pages, so it's a bit long. And save the same thing. I'm just going to hit the download button. I'm going to do a standard print. It's a little bit longer, so it's creating my flyer presentation. Okay. Come on. Okay. Right click. Save link as your listing presentation and then I'm just going to open it up. Now the first page as you can see is a letter. It has all my two prompts, my signature and all those cool things. And then we go to the next page and it's the cover of the listing presentation. Um, and everything is like the logos in there, your photo, all your information and whatever other things you enter on each page. So I, I went through it, I changed one or two of these things. I put in time and effort and your life and dreams just to add things. It'll just add it right inside there for you. And click right through. And of course your name will stay on the bottom of every page. And this is all customized. And the cool thing about this is once you go in there and you change it once, you can go back and change the person's name or change the little things about it. And just do that by going into your portfolio